In today's video, I'm going to solve a part of a small problem that we currently have with Planner. And, um, and that is that there isn't really an audit log um, at the moment. So it could be that uh, you assign a task to someone and they could just delete it. So, and then say that you never assigned the task to them. Um, I would hope that you don't work in departments or teams where you don't have that level of trust. But I did think that this could be something that at least solves a part of the problem. Now, if you go to Power Automate and you in the template search for planner, you'll see that there's a couple of different um, uh, templates, but not a lot of them um, looks at triggers when modifications or deletes happen. But something that does exist is post a new message to Microsoft Teams when a new task is created in planner. So let's go there. And there we go, my um, connectors have authenticated, so that's Microsoft Teams and Planner. I'm going to click continue to actually just uh, start creating this workflow. So there we go. Um, I'm going to just collapse this bottom piece first. So when a new task is created, so what I want to achieve, um, because I can't track, well, I have an audit log on everything yet at the moment, I just want to at least track when something new got created that I've got proof that the task was created or signed. So I'm going to go and look at um, the plan I want to use. So let's have a look and see if it actually shows. Um, so I'm going to go pick the planner that I want to monitor. And then if I go to um, post a message, so there I can select the team and there I can even select the channel where I want to post the message. So I'm going to select the team. So there we go. I've got a team called Brand New Marketing Exco and then I've created a channel specifically for the planner audit log. It's already got a default message in there. It's saying that the new task with the following due date has been created by, let's see if I'm lucky enough to see who it was assigned to, because man, that would be awesome. So let's have a look and see. Um, so there's the ID of the user to whom the task is assigned. Let's just see value assignments, value bucket, value created by, created by, value ID, value plant. I think that's going to have to work. Not quite sure. We're going to have to test this. So the assigned to user, I'm going to add that. Okay, so there's my properties. There's everything that's going to be posted. I'm going to um, save this as audit log for marketing exco tasks. Oh, my spelling. There we go. So let's save this. Okay, I just want to make sure that it is turned on. So there we go, it is actually turned on. I'm gonna now take uh, my Microsoft team. So in my team, in this specific team, I've got a planner that was added. Um, I'm gonna actually add a new bucket. So let's call this, um, I don't know, 2020 budgets or something. Okay, let's have a look at task, review the budget. Set a due date for the 26th. I'm gonna assign this to the internship. So let's take a look if um, if this is going to work. So now before we even look at the message, I want to bring this under your attention. If I go to the settings of that channel and I go to manage channel, I've switched on channel moderation. And who are the moderators? Only the managers. Okay, so, um, so the moderators are the team owners and um, that means that members can't delete those messages because that won't mean much. So if I go to this channel, you'll see that a new task has been created. That's the name of the task. That's the due date. It was created by, it's not picking up the created by, but it is actually showing the assigned to. Now this is the interesting bit. Do you see that it's using an ID there and not a name? So I did find um, a resolution for that or a way to solve that. And I am going to deal with that tomorrow. So we'll deal with it in a separate blog post. I'm going to show you how to resolve the ID back into a username so that when I publish it yet, yeah, it actually says who it was assigned to. But at least now you've got a log to say that a task got created. So someone can't say that the task never got created. I'll chat to you tomorrow and we're going to figure out this little um, crazy ID to see that we can resolve that into a name.